What up, folks? Tonight's the last night, not the last day, but the last night of my vacation. Tomorrow's the last day, and then I'm back to that. Anyone who's held the job for over a week knows I'm back to that. I've been there 20 plus years, and it's, it's, it's institutionalized. Have you ever seen uh, the Shawshank Redemption? When you know Brooks tries to poke dude in the neck and then uh, Red says, that's all he knows. He's institutionalized. I'm institutionalized. Nonetheless, neither here nor there, I'm going to make a little uh, chicken salad tonight. And since I've been on vacation for over a week, I uh, haven't really been moving around a lot, uh, sweating, getting dirty. So I haven't noticed the fact that uh, I haven't bathed in a while. And I hadn't realized that I smelled like a corpse until I went to the cabinet. This was in the cabinet. I went to reach for the cabinet. I didn't have a shirt on. Just this big land mass. I went to reach for that chicken. And I was like, Jesus Christ, it's a crime scene. What the hell? I felt like I was in The Walking Dead, but I wasn't one of the living. I was one of the walkers. So uh, I just got out of the uh, shower there, crisp and clean. And if you watched my last haircut, which was only a little over a week ago, this is already back and this is already coming in. That was uh, last the Thursday of last week. This is the Sunday of the week after. So this will be coming up soon. I know a lot of you like that two or three weeks. I, I get a lot of uh, nice but uh, sexual comments. And that's fine. I, I'm a grown-ass man. I, I, it, it's flattering. It's flattering, and I, I'd like it. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't get a lot of fucking comments ever. Yeah, my last one, somebody told me, my last little short, some dickhead said, uh, this video sucks balls, and I said, yes, mine with your mouth. I, I respond. I like to respond to people, and when they're shitheads, I respond as in a shithead way. When they're nice, I respond in a nice way. Even if it's uh, orientation appropriate or not, again, folks, I am straight, but I do appreciate uh, the uh, whatever comment you put down there. It's fantastic. Now, we're going to do a chicken salad tonight, and you can do your chicken salad, however, uh, a blueprint, like always. One last swig here. Tonight, we're doing... Ah, we're not, we're not. Tonight we're doing something different, as it being uh, my last night of vacation. Now, they didn't give me a bag for it, like assholes. Well, I didn't ask for a bag, so I guess I'm the asshole. I'm gonna go with a good old school, old English, and now it's a 42 ounce. Oh, shit. Uh, but these are now in plastic bottles. They used to be in a uh, crack a motherfucker in the head glass bottles perhaps that's why they quit doing them in glass bottles because of uh, the violence but I don't know I don't know if you knew this but malt liquor used to be marketed toward uppity white folks go look up the old uh, Red Fox Colt 45 malt liquor he's driving across like mad terrain to bring these uppity ass white folks having a picnic uh, Colt 45, so they can have a lovely picnic, and it's Red Fox. It's astounding. To me, anyway. Not to be a shit, but in my experience, when I was born, and since I've grown up, malt liquor was always geared toward poor whites and the black community, and uh, that's how it's always been. But the old school advertisements, at least for Colt 45, we're geared toward uh, pinky up, motherfuckers. Back on this. Chicken salad. I'm using cans. You could pressure cook your shit. You could bake your shit. You can fry your shit. You can do however you want to do to shred that chicken and get it ready for... I got water in my ears, folks. I don't do fucking edits, and I don't hide the fact that I'm a fucking idiot. You can... Uh, Chicken it out however the fuck you want. I got a pressure cooker. I got an oven. 
I got a stove top. I could do chicken however the hell I want. And you know what happens in the end when you put chicken into chicken salad and you put all the other mixings in there? Every single fucking chicken tastes like chicken salad. So why go through all the fucking heartache? And I'm going to put fresh ingredients in here. It's not just going to be a bunch of canned shit. Oh, well, let me get that. Well, round and round we go. Let that breathe for just a second while I get the little mixer out. Because I am going to put fresh ingredients in here. Ha! Ah, here's my... This will be a slightly green sauce. One more week. That's got the uh, jalapenos, mad garlic, <coughs> mad garlic, onions, and a couple of tomato slices. It's going to be a little off green. As you see, I don't lie to you folks when I say I got more than one thing going on. But it wouldn't matter because you don't watch all the video. Well, maybe two or three of you do watch all the videos. And you'll be like the ones that ever I happen to mildly, magically come to prominence. I like this. I watch this motherfucker from the start. Everybody's going to be like, no, you didn't. But hopefully you commented and you can go back and pull the proof. And see, see, he called me a fucking idiot right there. Or see, he said, thank you for your kind words or whatnot. But like I was saying, let that breathe. Like I was saying, this is just for me. It's not for like a fancy dinner party or anything. I'm, I'm going to make this for like a couple lunches this week. I can do the whole pressure cook. I got chicken breast in the fucking freezer. I can pressure cook it. I can bake it. I can throw it in the damn thing. I can even... I don't know about breaded chicken salad. I never heard of that, but I could fry it up. Why? Why don't you put in the vegetables and the uh, celery is a vegetable? Well, once you put in uh, onions, is it a vegetable or a two? Yeah, you know, it's, it's a veg. Vegetables don't have seeds, right? Well, then I'm going to call these motherfuckers vegetables. Once you put in the fresh ingredients, uh. Yeah, and the uh, other mixins, it all tastes the fucking same, no matter what way you do your chicken. That is not good, but it's doing its job. Well, that's not fair. I had a different flavor of beer coming in, so this has a slightly different uh, barley taste to it, so it's not delicious out the gate, but you stay with one, you stick with one, you start with one, you stay with it. I'm doing, uh, well, I'm staying in the same genre, not genre, genre. I had beer, now I'm going to malt liquor, which is beer. You might not have caught that in my sleight of hand, I just... Did a quick little stop on the, uh, these are convenient. They got two, like three packs at Walmart for great values. And these come in at 12.5 uh, ounces. What's that? 25 ounces. So that's a pound and nine ounces when you get it all said and done. Pound nine. What's that? Like a pound and... I don't want to do math, but... It's over a half. A pound and five eighths. Shit, I don't know. Oh, you might hear the heater coming on back there because yesterday was my birthday and yesterday it snowed about fucking three feet here. Well, that's a mad exaggeration. It's, it snowed about 18 to two feet. About 18 inches to two feet. Every year for the past four to five years, it's snowed on my birthday. And I don't celebrate my birthday, but sometimes I'm like, hey, it's my birthday. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna actually eat at a restaurant. Or I'm gonna go out and get a fucking, a special fast food place. Like my local place is called Bionic Burger and they make fucking awesome burgers and sandwiches and all that shit. And I wake up like, yeah, Today, I'm going to go out and do something outside and 
open the windows. I'm like, fuck, I ain't gonna do shit except sit here and be pissed off. And then today, not a fucking cloud in the sky. Got above freezing. The road started to fucking melt, so I got no excuse not to go to work on Tuesday when I go back. Because it'll be all clear by then. Ah, now let's get back to this bullshit. I got a size appropriate container. And these are the good ones that have the little tabs so you don't gotta get that stupid fucking can't open her out. Can't open her out. Cut the shit out of it. I drain these. And yes, it does. Absolutely zero argument from me. It does smell like cat food. It smells like high-end cat food, but it smells like cat food nonetheless. Like when you open a occasional can, I get occasional can of, uh, what's that shit called? Uh, oh, it's the beef. God damn it. It's a uh, hash. That's the fucking breakfast beef. Corned beef hash. You open that shit, and it most definitely usually smells like dog food. This smells like cat food. Just being honest, folks. This is not gourmet style. Get all that. See, the cat even came in here. The cat smelled some shit that she thought was hers. Don't jump up here because I'll fuck you up. I'll put you in that wall over there. And I love you, kitty. I'm just going to dump these in here so in case the cat does jump up here and attempts suicide by my hand. They're covered. Put that, <clears throat> put that right there. Matter of business, you want uh, you want some of this juice? I'm a nice guy. You're just gonna look at it and not know what. To... Well, lick it out of there, you fucking dunce. Go for it. Yeah, you've got other food. If you don't want that, you get the other food. Fuck off. I try to be nice. Giving you an early, well, oh, there you go. Now you figured it out. You're almost not even a fucking quarter of feral, you lazy fucking house turd. All right. Now we're going with the fresh ingredients. If you don't want it, I'll throw it away. I'm going to use some celery. I like celery in my chicken salad. I don't need a whole shitload. I just need, well, I need to get the fucker out of here. A celery fucking condom that holds in all the fucking celery babies. Let it go, you cocksucker. Jesus Christ. Uh, for this much, I'll probably use, I'll probably use two, I'll use three. I'll use three, I like celery. Fuck this thing. rest all either put some peanut butter on or 
I got some spray cheese. Or if I go to the store tomorrow, I might get some of that pimento spread. All that shit. All that shit's delicious on celery. Everybody's like, nah, celery doesn't taste like anything. It's just water. Man. Well, then your taste buds. We're fucked pre-COVID. Because it doesn't taste like, man, nothing tastes like water. No, it tastes like fucking celery. Get your head out of your ass. Like this. I'm going to section it down smaller. So I can throw up my little machine over here, which you, you have to use one of the three that watches this shit you've seen before. But I know you have it. And that's fine. I know only like five of you are going to watch this. And to those who do, I appreciate you. And the rest of them can fuck right off. We just want to watch you lay down and be a rotten fucking pile of fat fuck. Well, I do have a mind and I do actually talk, so. You'll get those when you get those. And God, honestly, the only time you get sleep videos is when I'm fucking hammered. And they're not sleep, they're passed out. I got an onion too. Alright. So let me get up the, uh, let me grind up the celery here. juice in the bottom of this damn thing. That's fresh celery, just super, well, I guess it's more fine chop. <coughs> more fine chop, but there's absolutely no fucking water in the bottom. So that theory is bullshit. And as usual, just a blueprint. You're not going to put celery. I like it. I'm the only one eating this so I can do what the fuck I want. I have a strict rule that I don't taste with the same spoon if I'm making it for more than one person, which is me. If I'm making it for anyone else, I will at least wash the spoon off. Now I also want half an onion in here. Put this in the bag and put it in the fridge. Because this will probably go into my, I'm thinking spaghetti tomorrow, spaghetti tomorrow. Not sketty, not paschetti, spaghetti. Not four, I can speak. Sometimes I can speak. Get the shit end off, get the uh, dry part off. Trash can. Do get responses every now and then like oh I thought you were coming for a kiss well and that's usually from a, a, a man I give you a peck on the cheek like a European greeting but uh, we're not gonna lock lips and uh, stare in each other's eyes and grip buttocks and search for apartments together 
and all that shit. Get matching Vespas and tour Europe. Don't get mad. I make sport of everyone, so don't get pissy. just fucking delicious. Well, at least the white and the red. I don't know about the yellow. And sometimes it's delicious, but the white onions and the purple, red onions, especially the reds, are the cat. If the damn camera shakes, the cat's marking her territory. She's all hot and bothered after getting some fucking canned chicken juice. Get it out of your system, because when we go to bed, don't bother me. She likes to lay sometimes ass to face, sometimes on my head, sometimes I'm on my side, on my shoulder, I'm on my back, on my chest, stealing my breath, as the old wise tale goes. Or right in the middle, so I can't roll to the sides. It's a cat. If you have a cat, you know they're a pain in the Well, if you have a dog, even. These cats are kind of small. If you have, a, Unless you got one of them little shit dogs. They just fuck up your sleep. And I did see a thing. It was a, a Theo Vaughn video. He was talking to a coroner. And the coroner said, If you're... Damn! She was scratching the chair. The coroner said, If you die and no one's there... A cat won't wait more than about an hour to start eating your fucking head and your body. And small dogs like chihuahuas and beagles and shit, they'll wait about an hour and start eating you, even if they have food. He said, like, bigger dogs like Rottweilers and shit like that will wait till their food is gone and they're absolutely fucking starving. <clears throat> starving before they start eating you. But they said, the guy said, he's a coroner. He came to a house where a cat had eaten a man's fucking head all the way off, including bone, and it started to burrow into his chest. It's a Theo Vaughn interview with uh, the coroner. I found it to be uh, interesting. It's just me and this cat, so if I die tonight, they might find just the upper torso, because this fucking little shithead eats all the fucking time. She's a fat ass. She eats all the fucking time, and I'll probably not they'll find a toe. Who knows? Here, here and over there. Let's get this up and going. You don't hold it down because you want to pulse it. Otherwise, you just get a big sloppy, juicy mess. And I'm telling you, if you used to see my videos, these are usually clean. These are all dirty. I've had a long day and I don't want to fucking deal with them. I got one more day of vacation. I'll get to them tomorrow. That's the extent of the fresh ingredients. Because I, yet again, as always, do not have any fresh fucking garlic. And I don't really ever put garlic in my chicken salad anyway. Excuse me. Now here we're going to... Okay. Nice little spoon swirl. Alright, so this is, at this point, this looks like basically 50-50 canned chicken and raw ingredients. And the smell of the uh, celery and the onion is... <sighs> Taking away from, I would like to say, retarding. It's retarding the scent. Uh, because that's an actual word that doesn't apply to a people or a situation. The smell of the...
fucking celery and onion is retarding the smell of the cat food canned chicken. Which means it's making it less. Look on a fucking fire extinguisher. Any fucking fire extinguisher, that's a fire retardant. Unless they changed it since I last manned one. Now, to this, we go back to the fridge. Got your can, you got your fresh. Now we're going back to the shit I didn't make fresh. And God, honestly, unless you fucking raise the chickens, fucking harvested the eggs, well, no, I don't want the eggs. I'm not making egg salad. Unless you raise the chickens, kill the chickens, pluck the chickens, cook the chickens, shred the chickens, put the motherfuckers in there, grew the fucking celery, grew the fucking onions, chop them up however the fuck you want to do it. Uh, made homemade fucking mayonnaise. Made homemade fucking mustard. Made homemade fucking whatever else. I'm going to put some relish. Relish. Nothing you make is fucking homemade. Unless you grew it from the ground or raised it from fucking birth. So. Kiss my... <laughs> I had to check something. Thought the cat might have knocked something off balance. I like relish. I like mayonnaise. Now I don't want to go... Yellow mustard or Dijon mustard? Leave it to fate. I don't have a coin, but I have a lid. I have a fucking fermenting lid. I'll flip this fucker. Uh, white side up. Uh, yellow mustard. Silver side up. Dijon. Turn around, I don't give a fuck. Fuck! Hold on. I gotta remember what the fucking flip was. I'm not fucking with you. I fucking forgot the flip. Okay. Yellow is up. Yeah, we'll say this. Gold side, yellow side, this. I fucking forgot in the flip. Uh, Dijon, white side. Dijon sounds like a white uppity thing. I can't remember this now. Again, I'm gonna look away. I'm gonna flip this fucker. And that's well, fate. Fate takes the wheel. Or Jesus. However you wanna go. White. It's white side up. We're going Dijon. I don't know that I've made it with Dijon before. Sounds interesting. We're gonna take this little spoon and rinse it all up and it can fuck off. This was a, uh, that's a scraper spoon to scrape shit out of the thing. We're gonna go with the big boy spoon for the mayonnaise and the relish. Starting to smell like human food. I'm gonna put a little pepper in here. Not adding salt, because all this other shit has salt in it. I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna go on fucking heaping spoon of mayonnaise. You can always add more, but you can't take away. You saw it. Although I am going to wash this off because I'm not going to put mayonnaise in my fucking relish. I may be a psychopath, but I'm not a fucking moron. Or maybe a moron, but I'm not a fucking psychopath.
And we're going to go with a nice spoonful of this relish here. Not heaping, but above above the board. Be with. Wrong pipe. Ah, I got it in control real quick. All right. So those two. And like I said before, pretend this is a salad and this is a salad dressing. Give it a coat like you would a salad. That's going to be good. For me, anyway. Because Dijon does have a, a bit of a more pronounced... I'm going to show you before I melt, before I mash it. There's the Dijon. There's the mayonnaise. There's the everything else. myself right in plain sight because I'm mostly blind and this doesn't help my eyesight and it's fun it's fun to figure it out later I see I got several texts coming in from I've had a, an entire weekend of no one texting me and all of a sudden there's fanfare and let's text everyone and <laughs> give me shit for taking tomorrow off and Couldn't give a rat's ass less. At this point, you just mash together. Mash, mash together. Could be an old Beastie Boys song. Mash together. Mash, mash together. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That's remote control in case. Mash together, what? Mash together, mash together, what? Mash together. If you're not familiar with the Beastie Boys, they're a uh, old school, uh, old school Jewish band. They're an actual band because they play instruments. But they also did hip hop. And they do have respect in the hip hop culture because they did their own thing. They didn't fucking pander. Get a good mash in there. And it's gone from. It's gone from cat food to that's food. You got a strong onion smell. You got, I can smell celery. I don't care what the fuck what they say. You see, I haven't put any other spices in here. Just a little bit of salt, pepper. I'll give it a little more of a shake there. Some mustard, some mayonnaise, some relish. A little bit of mustard. Let's see. This is where you tweak it. this marries overnight in the fridge and the freezer once this marries overnight in the fridge that shit's on point now after this 
after I say goodnight to you folks and go away, I am going to cut this delightful garlic bread in half. And I'm going to put uh, salami, ham, bologna, and some pepperonis, and some cheese on this fucker. I'm going to throw it in the ninja. I'm going to fucking toast that up. Then I'm going to put on some uh, lettuce, tomato, onions, possibly some black olives, uh, mustard, some probably some pickles, and some of that Paul Newman's uh, salt and vinegar. I'll make myself a sub for tonight. That's for tomorrow. That's for the next few days. For the next couple times I want to make a sandwich. This was, we're at the usual, about 30 minute mark. This was just me making some uh, chicken salad, talking some shit. I was actually called handsome today in one of the fucking uh, comments, and that was that was nice. That, that felt good. You know, I don't hear that ever. Uh, earlier tonight, I had my reading camera go off, and there was some dipshit going through my trash can outside. I didn't get there in time, but I... <coughs> I didn't get there in time, but I had a little something waiting. If they come back, I don't know what they're going through my trash can for. I got fucking a foot and a half of snow outside. It's goddamn uh, 25 degrees. But, you know, you want to fuck around and find out? Fuck around and find out. I don't use guns because they draw attention. You come in here... And you get God, I can take my time. That's not a threat. That's a uh, fact. <laughs> All right, folks. I'll try to get you to sleep one tomorrow. I know you're tired of looking at me and hearing me and seeing me upright and not in the coffin. Which is mildly fucking disturbing. That's the cat eating the actual cat food. Ah, uh, and she needs water. I'm not a bad guy. As always, with respect, I don't know why it's a calling card, but love y'all. Peace, bitches.